Welcome back! Today we're talking about herbalism in Wrath of the Lich King, more specifically the easiest way to level your herbalism from 1 to 450. I'll also be sharing a couple of quick tips that'll help make the grind that much easier. Wrath of the Lich King brought Northrin with it, which has a lot of new valuable herbs. It also brought a new skill, Inscription, which uses these new herbs. This makes herbalism even better because now there are two professions that consume the herbs that we pick. These two professions, which pair very well with herbalism, are alchemy and inscription. Alchemy goes well with herbalism because it requires herbs to make potions, elixirs, and flasks. Alchemy can bring the cost of raid consumables down significantly and can be a good money maker. Inscription also goes well with herbalism because you will have to mill the herbs to get inks and pigments used to make glyphs. Inscription can be a good money maker because everybody needs glyphs. Lifeblood is also a really cool benefit of herbalism. This is a little heal over time spell that you get from being an herbalist. It's a nice heal that comes in handy in a pinch. It's not the strongest thing in the world, but it's definitely useful if you're dying. So with that being said, I have a few tips that I think might be helpful that I wanted to share with you. So something that you definitely should be doing is using the find herbs tool while leveling. This causes herbs to show up on your minimap and leveling herbalism without this is just awful. You can turn this on by left clicking on the icon on your minimap and selecting find herbs. Another less mandatory but still interesting feature is click to move. Click to move allows you to click an herb in the distance and walks your character to that herb and begins gathering it. You can even click an herb while you're mounted and you will dismount once you get to the herb. You can turn click to move on by going to the interface and then mouse and then checking click to move. The last thing I would recommend is the add-on GatherMate. This is a great add-on for your herbalism journey. It records where the herbs you gather are located and allows you to find a more optimized route around the herbs you personally find because they show up on your map and then you can map the routes out. All right, so enough for the tips. It's time to get to leveling. To start with, we're going to be picking Silverleaf, Peace Bloom, Earth Root, and Mage Royal from levels 1 to 75. You can pick these in just about any starter area, but I'm going to list the best zones and routes based on your faction and race. Alright, so as an alliance, you pretty much want to start leveling your herbalism in Elwyn Forest. Elwyn is just a great place with lots of herbs, and this is the best route that I've found for it so far. Gnomes and dwarves should just hop on the tram to Stormwind and head over to Elwyn Forest because it's just that good. Night Elves, on the other hand, can stay in Teldrassil because it's also pretty good and it's a lot closer to where they start out at. The path I use for Teldrassil makes a figure 8 as shown here. Draenei can either begin herbalism in their own area or head over to Teldrassil and use this route. On the Horde side, it's best to begin using this route in Duratar. Duratar is one of the fastest zones for leveling herbalism. Even though it looks like a rocky wasteland, it has a ton of herb spawns. I would recommend starting herbalism here even if I weren't an orc or a troll. Tarans start out in Mulgore, which is also a great place to level herbalism. Just follow this path and you'll be 75 in no time. Undead can also just gather herbs in Tristful Glades. It happens to be a very good leveling zone from 1 to 75. You want to avoid Scarlet Monastery, Death Knell, and the Undercity, but other than that, if you follow this route, you should be 75 in no time. Blood Elves can either gather herbs in their starter area or travel to the one of the areas we talked about before. After reaching level 75 herbalism, you need to head back to your trainer and learn Journeyman Herbalist. Quick sidebar, did you know it's called Journeyman Herbalist? Everyone I know calls it Journeyman Herbalism, and until making this guide, I had no idea it was called Journeyman Herbalist. Just food for thought. Anyways, if you skip this step, you'll hit your cap and continue gathering herbs without gaining skill levels. So once you become a Journeyman Herbalist and your cap is raised, it's time to head out and gather more herbs. All right, if you're Horde, the Barrens is gonna be the place to be from level 75 to 150. At level 75, you should follow this route in the Northern Barrens to get to level 135. At 135, you'll wanna leave Northern Barrens and head to Southern Barrens. This route should be the best for that. Although, if this does start to feel slow or you're just sick of the Barrens, you can head over to Wetlands or Hillsbrad Foothills a bit early. This should give you a nice change of scenery and kinda of keep things fresh. On the Alliance side of things, we're headed to Westfall. For levels 75 to 150, Westfall is the place to be. You can follow this route until you're level 135 and then head to Wetlands or Hillsbrad Foothills for a change of scenery as well. Or you can just stick it out and this route will take you all the way to 150. At level 150, you need to visit your trainer again and learn Expert Herbalist. This will allow you to level up to 225 before you need to talk to your trainer again. 
At this point, the Horde and Alliance paths have merged and we'll be heading to either Wetlands or Hillsbrad Foothills. You can just pick whichever zone is closer to you. Here, we're going to be collecting Briarthorn, King's Blood, and Life Root. Both of these zones are right next to Arathi Highlands, which is where we'll be continuing the journey from 170 to 225. I would also like to add that a nice bonus at this point is that the herbs we are gathering are somewhat valuable and can be sold in the auction house for a profit. If you don't like wetlands, you can go to Hillsbrad Foothills instead, and you can follow this route. Since both zones are right next door to Arathi, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I think the choice just comes down to which zone is easier to get to and which one you'd prefer to run around in. Hillsbrad Foothills usually has a decent amount of PvP, so it can be interesting. Alright, so once you get level 170, it's time to begin the journey to 225. Arathi Highlands is going to be the place to be for leveling from 170 to 225. You'll need to spend a lot of time in Arathi gathering Bruiseweed, Life Root, Wild Steel Bloom, Fade Leaf, Goldthorn, and Cadagger's Whiskers. Whew, that's a bunch of herbs. So we stay in Arathi until 225. I don't recommend leaving early because you'll have a hard time finding somewhere better at this level range. A second reason to stay here is because Goldthorn usually sells really well in the auction house, so if you're trying to save up some money for your mount, that's a good way to go. After you reach level 225, you need to train Artisan Herbalist, which will allow you to level Herbalism to 300. You can either learn this from Dorothy and Dalaran or from the trainer in Booty Bay. Horde and Alliance can talk to Flora Silverwind in Booty Bay, east of the Alliance Griffin Master. At level 225, we're heading to Feralis and we're going to be gathering Goldthorn and Life Root until 230. Once we get to level 230, we can start gathering the Sungrass we were passing up until now. At this point, we should be collecting Goldthorn, Sungrass, Purple Lotus, Life Root, and Golden Sansom. We'll be hanging out in Feralis until around 275. Just a side note though, alchemists require lots of sungrass, so you can save it for your alchemy or you can sell it for a decent amount of gold on the auction house. At 275, we're heading to Western Plagueland to level all the way to 300. Whew, we're almost out of those classic levels. The route in Western Plagueland starts out by entering from either Tristful Glades or Chillwind Camp on that southeastern corner and doing a big loop. You'll have to run past Plague Bloom at first, but keep track of where it is because you're going to be going back and grabbing it later on. Eventually, you'll hit 285 and be able to grab all of that wonderful Plague Bloom. Once you start picking Plague Bloom, your levels will start going up rapidly. As soon as you hit level 300, it's time to head to Outlands. Raise your herbalism cap again by talking to your trainer and learning Master Herbalist. This will unlock the levels up to 350. You can learn this in Dalaran or at your faction's trainer in Hellfire. For Alliance, you'll be looking for Roraline? Roraline? Roraline in Honor Hold. Horde are going to be looking for Rorik Stronghorn in Thralmar. His name is a lot easier to say. You should stay in Hellfire Peninsula from 300 all the way up to 350. This route in Hellfire Peninsula is my favorite and should get you to 350 herbalism without a problem. Since this guide's focus is leveling up as quickly as possible, there's really no reason to leave Hellfire and go anywhere else in Outland. But if you do need herbs from the other zones for inscription or alchemy, feel free to move around to the other zones as you level to 350 in Outlands. Alright, so once you hit 350 herbalism, it's time to learn Grandmaster Herbalist. This will allow you to continue leveling to 450. You can either talk to a trainer right after you get off the boat in Northrend, or you can talk to Dorothy in Dalaran if your hearth is set there. After raising your cap, it's time to start collecting Gold Clover in Northrend. Gold Clover will take you to level 400, which gets us most of the way through our remaining levels. It's also pretty valuable, so I recommend selling it on the auction house if you aren't going to use it. You can begin gathering Gold Clover in either Howling Fjord or Borean Tundra. They're both really good zones for it. At level 400, it's time to move to Sholazar Basin. Here you can continue to pick Gold Clover and Tiger's Lily while also adding Adder's Tongue into the mix. We're going to stay here until we get to 435. And then at 435, we'll be able to pick Ice Thorn and Lich Bloom in Storm Peaks. Alright, so we hit 435 and it's the final stretch. To finish off 435 to 450, we're going to be heading over to Storm Peaks. Follow this route until you reach level 450 by picking Ice Thorn and Lich Bloom. There's a ton here since Storm Peaks is huge. Make sure to sell these on the auction house because they're going to be very valuable. I hope you found this guide helpful and I'll see you in the next one.